Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Toonstruck. In the last episode we did a lot of progress. Let's see, what did we do? Well, for, well, I, I, I think that the best thing that we did in the last episode was to get this item. A portable hole. A portable hole that we got from the uh, jail in the town of the Malevolence. So we got that, and we can use that on these blood holes. Or sorry, a hole locations. So we can travel between the towns of Qtopia, Xanitu, and the Malevolence. Saving us a lot of time, that's very convenient. Easily the best item in the game as far as I'm concerned. And then we also... Let's see, what else, would, what else did we do? We brought the feather to March, a uh, Mistress March, sorry. And from her we got her glue. And then we also blew up the uh, the evil robot's head with this book. Uh, you know, that, that one robot Skynet mastermind uh, from the Malevolence who, were, who was planning to take over the world with his robots at some point in the future. So we managed to uh, literally uh, blow his mind with this uh, book with unsolvable puzzles. And then after we did that, we picked up this... What was it this called again? A plunger. A plunger, yeah. So we got this plunger. So we could actually open the toilet in the... Uh, at that fish flush place, whatever it was called. So we managed to do that, and we have already cut one fish from them. A soul. A soul, a green fish, basically. And we did something else too, didn't we? Hmm... Oh yeah, we also got this cloak from the Crow After we brought him uh, one of the costumes from the costume shop. And then we also got this uh, pointy arrow from uh, from the way out back with the vulture. Unfortunately, we had to kill the poor vulture. Hmm, I think that was everything, or at least all the most important things. So, without further ado, let's continue with the rest of the game. And in the last episode, before we uh, before uh, before I ended the episode, I was wondering that where the hell was that one paper thingy about the fish that you can catch here. I just couldn't, I just couldn't, couldn't remember where it was, and it's here. Scroll of Wisdom. Here it is. So, Floss for Victory. Let's see. Deposit fish in bowl. Stand by for excitement. Tackle fish launcher to initiate Floss sequence. Focus on the fish. Uh, reactivate fish launcher to reverse Floss fish. Gorge, uh, gorge worthiness of catch. Official fish ranking. Loser. Go home. Yeah, that's the worst one. Yeah, whatever. A medium rarity, not bad. And the mother of all fish flushed, you win! Okay, so we have to get the, this yellow or slash golden one. Okay. And then there's lots of, and there's lots of bunch of other legal small technicalities uh, text that I don't bother to read. So, guess we have to do this. We have to do this for as long, for as long until we get that yellow golden fish. Which is going to be a pain in the ass. Okay, so... Let's see... How can I tell that, that a golden fish is coming? Or we just have to be uh, very fast. Oh! Yeah, like that. It, they are so fucking fast that... Mm, okay, I'm going to really have to concentrate here. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, there's... They're just too fast. Let's see. Are they... Is this tube any different every every time when a new fish comes? Let's see. I don't think so, no. Uh, maybe the sound is different? Well, it is different, but it is different every time when they uh, go to this tube, but, but by then it's too late to uh, push the handle. Maybe there's a maybe there's a pattern. Let's see. Red, blue, green, blue, blue, green, blue, blue, yellow, blue, red, green. I think there's a pattern there here, folks. Okay, I think I get it now. I think I get it. Oh, never mind, there is no pattern. Yeah, there is no pattern. Not at all. Shit. I don't think there is a pattern at, no, anyway. Oh, shit. I could be wrong, but I don't think there is a pattern. 
It's just random. Fuck. It's just so fucking fast. Fuck. Fuck. Well, we got the green one again. This might take some time. Nice catch. Yeah, but it... But we still can't win... Well, something with this. I don't even know why we are doing this. All I know is that we have to get that goldfish. Well, at least I'm quite sure that we have to. Okay, let's try it again. Two blue, two green, one red, yellow, okay. Now, three. <laughs> we get the green every single time, but not the not the yellow one. God damn it. Nice catch! Uh, yeah, yeah, but we want the golden one. Okay, let's try this shit again. Let's see if there's a pattern. Two, one. Mm, okay. Again. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I I don't think there's a pattern. I don't think there is. Nice or if there catch. is, it's very very fucking long. Too long for me to keep up. I would really, we really have to do it this way. Because this is so... This is so annoying. And extremely difficult. You have to be extremely lucky. I missed it once. Too fucking late. <laughs> yeah, this is almost impossible. Well, it's not impossible, we just have to get lucky. I just have to get extremely lucky here. <laughs> Shit. Not the shittiest one now. Cut out the toilet, humor drill. I know you can do better than that. Well, how about you do it? Dumb purple little shit. Go fish. You know what? Why don't you go there? Oh, fine, be that way. We haven't been using flux for a whole lot, have we? Fuck! That was a close one. Son of a bitch. Is there anything else that we can interact with here? Oh. Mm. That thing looks... Oh, we can... We can move around. Okay, okay. Maybe we have to do something here. Let's see. Have... Uh, I don't know, plunger? It's already on block. Okay, okay. I don't know, glue? That's not a fish. How about you go in there? Hey, Flux, instead of a fish, what if I flush? Don't even think about it. Hmm. There's not anything else that we can interact with besides this scroll of wisdom, the handle, and the toilet itself. Better not. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Let's see, do I have anything that could possibly help us? I don't know, the chain? That's not a fish. Okay, so we can't put anything else but fish in, uh, fish in there. Arrow. That's not a fish. Mm, okay, okay. I was thinking about maybe maybe some sort of a fish bait, specifically for the gold, that golden fish there, but I'm not sure. I guess we just have to do it this way. 
I don't really know what else to do uh, uh, in this game at this point. All I, all I know is that we have to get that yellow fish for some reason. Oh, fuck it. Let's try this again. Yeah, this might take some time, folks. Assume that we have to do it this way, which I'm quite sure that we are have to. Fuck yes, finally! About time. Well, it didn't take that long, but still. Nice catch! Okay, so now we got this golden fish. Yeah, so the fish were having uh, different uh, sounds wh wh when they were coming here. I just had to listen to that very, very carefully, and then and then anticipate that when the golden fish was about to come. So yeah, so so that's how you did it. But still, this is perhaps the most frustrating puzzle in this game so far. Yeah, not not a huge fan, not a huge fan. But a puffer fish. A puffer fish. Hmm. So it's one of those fish that can go very big, basically. Okay. Now, where could we possibly use something like that? Now, where could we use this clone? I had, I think that we had an idea where we're supposed to use it, but oh yeah, it could, be, it could possibly be, it could possibly be the item for this because cloak and dagger, and, and a phrase. So it could, so it could be that. Let's see what else did we have. Um, Uh, what what else do we have here? That that could the that could be added here. Oh yeah, this arrow possibly. The malabolator. You know, bow and arrow. Makes sense. Anything else? We we haven't used this golden chain or these piano keys for the anything. They could be they could be f uh, for the cutie fire, but I'm not sure. Hmm. We still need we still need the nuts from the squirrel. Yeah, that sounded that sounded bad. Yeah, I know. But and we also got this fire, um, not firefly, but regu regular uh, fly suit. A truly repulsive fly costume. Fly a costume. With big buggy eyes, leathery wings, and sticky suckers on its feet. Where could we possibly need this for? I have no idea. No idea. We still got some ink as well that we also got the, from the malevolence from the jail. Actually, let's go back in there. Let's let's take a look at the fine print here. Uh, is there anything? No, there's nothing. There's nothing interesting. I don't think. The mother of all fish uh, flushes. You win. But where can I turn this fish in? Hmm. Okay. Maybe we're supposed to give it to someone. I don't think that we need to go to Jim's gym anymore. And we have no business in the way out back uh, either. We can't go anywhere else from there. And we have got everything that we want from there. I'm pretty sure anyway. What about this cuckoo? That mechanical bird is in even worse shape than the clock. Mm, okay, but it's, but it's not in... Interesting or important, I think. Okay, this is this is annoying. Just go in there. How hard can it possibly be? There we go. Like, I don't know. Do you want this fish? Hey, Wolf! Wanna go fish flushing with us? Can't. Orders to fail. Heads to bash. <laughs> and I assume that he doesn't want it either. No. Hmm. There's also these... The cigars, boxing glove, sweating flower, pitching powder, and all that stuff. But, but even if we could get one of these items, I'd I wouldn't know where to use them yet. Mm, yeah, I don't think that there's anything that we can do here. So, hmm, where to? Okay, what else do we need? So we need the we need the nuts from the squirrel. And again, that sounded so wrong. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder, can I get can I get this uh, peanut from this hand? I guess the nut's not up for grabs. <laughs> and we don't want this mouse either, I don't think. 
so if I if I understood correctly, we're, we're supposed to find a fe uh, we're supposed to find a cute female, but uh, not bunny, a squirrel for this one. Why was I thinking about bunnies? I don't think the squirrel will let me do that. Yeah, most likely not. Do I have anything that I, I could use? Hmm. Or, or we just uh, chase it away somehow. Try to make it go away. Enigma, a book of insoluble paradoxical puzzles. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I don't think I don't think that there's anything that we can use on the squirrel or or on, or on his nuts. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's also this pepper that we could use. I can't pick that pepper while that briar patch is in the way. Uh, for the cutifier, I'm sure. Let's see. Do I have anything? Uh, nope. Pufferfish. Nope. Nope. Wait, where is Drew? Oh, he went there, because I clicked. Okay. Uh, that would just be a waste. Hmm, okay. I'm also wondering, can I combine any of these items that I have now? Hmm. I was supposed to kill, kill the squirrel. Well, I guess not. Thank God, no more animal cruelty. We also got this cotton candy, and I don't know... Let's see. The Malevolator. Did I use the cotton candy uh, in the cutifier? Maybe to replace salt? Ah, uh, but then again, no. The, uh, the cutifier already has sugar replacing spices, but then again, I don't know. Maybe. Sickly sweet cotton candy. Sickly sweet. Whack me jumping bean. Oh yeah, these beans too. Hmm, I don't know, poison them? Guess not. Oh. Glue? That would just be a waste. That would just oh, be yeah, a yeah. waste. Hmm. How to get... Briar Patch? That's a Malevolandian Briar Patch! Hedium Thornius et Auchum! Ah. Hmm. I guess that I guess that that in order to get rid of this this briar, we have to find something sharp like I don't know scissor scissors and knife, uh, something like that. Uh, to the malevolence, to the path even. There, there's the wolf den, which I believe that I believe we have picked everything that we want from here, but might as well double check. Might as well double check real quick. Table, nope. Fire. Roasting spit. Looks like something that, something that we can pick up. Aha. Uh -huh. So I missed that. Okay, okay. Good thing that we came back here. So we got a roasting spit. A spit. And it looks very sharp. Let's see, can we use that to get the pepper? Or maybe kill that squirrel. That would be too brutal, I think. I could spear it, and I still wouldn't be able to get it past the briar patch. Hmm, okay. Unfortunately, I forgot to brush up on my javelin technique before being transported here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can I combine anything and pop the fish? I'm saving the world, not making dinner. Hmm, okay. Well, at least... Well, at least we have got a new item. That's that's something. So, how about we go deeper into the malevolence to the town and see if we can do something there? Hmm. I wonder. We are supposed we we are supposed to uh to wear some. Oh wait. Hmm, if I remember correctly, every every once in a while a hooded figure goes in there. And this place require, requires a certain uh, dress code in order to get in there. I was just wondering, maybe we have to put this on. But let's wait a little while. Let's see if that hooded person will uh, appear and go in there. And she didn't stop him, stop him or anything. There's a 
prison. I don't think there's anything that we want from the robo robot maker anymore. That leads us to the castle, but there was nothing there last time I, I was there. Proper attire required. Mm. Looks. Oh, there we go. Well, that hooded figure just left the building, but still. How about we put this on? You don't suppose this cloak is the proper attire for CD's club? Only one way to find out. Evening, ma'am. Stop mm -hmm. flirting, Jack, or I'll kick out your insides and turn your empty hide into a party dress. All the gin joints, and all the towns, and all the world, we walk into hers. Oh, okay, so that, so that was the right attire. Kind of weird attire for a... Uh, oh, but just then. Oh, oh, they also use it the portable hole, I just realized. Of course we should search this area. For all we know, the fugitives could be hiding right here, in our own backyard! Wait a minute, we have a backyard? Perhaps they have sought refuge in CD's club. No. Nope. Uh-oh! Henchman alert! We're doomed! No, we're not! We can always... Um... Well, uh... Hide? Go in there. Changing room. <laughs> Move it! They can't have gotten far! Hmm, okay. We did it! We are witted! Three morons. Well, at least it beats being outwitted by three morons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, so like I was saying, that's a rather weird uh, out outfit uh, outfit to be required to have in a, in a bowling gym, bowling club, or whatever you call these places, uh, like this. So that's speedy. Hmm. So are we... Good I'm supposed. Night. I was supposed to go and go bowling. Oh, hey, it's Blue Balloon. A uh, Blue Baloo from um, from the Jungle Book, you know. Burn, baby, burn! <laughs> Can we go in there and explore? Well, well no. I'm really glad we shared this moment, Drew. Now, can we please go and do something that isn't pointless? Yeah, yeah. So there's nothing there. Just like, just like there was something in the changing room back at the costume shop. Well, guess we talk to Speedy. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me? What kind of talk is that? Take my advice. A guy could find himself with his face caved in, mouthing off like that at my club. Did you clowns figure it was ladies' night or something? Ah, shut up, you bald-headed twit. That's better. <laughs> now... What can I do you for, creeps? <laughs> well, chat more. We like two pairs of shoes. I'm a size 10. My friends are... Oh, a couple of hot shots, huh? Well, listen up. I see hot shots like yous come true here every day. Gunning for road, seedy. Seedy. And I watch him crawl I don't right speed back that. out the door. Loses every damn one. Now, why don't yous do just... <laughs> Blow. I don't <laughs> understand. Gunning? For you? I only asked for some shoes. Listen, chump. The only shoe you'll get from me will need to be surgically removed from your rectum. Damn. Wait a minute. You two ain't aware that I, Seedy, am the one and only champion of hairpin bowling? No, I... Oh, hold on. Hairpin bowling? Uh, 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 you jerks been baking cookies. Hairpin bowling is the toughest, gruelingest, sweatingest sport ever invented. Mm -hmm. It's so tough, you gotta fight for a lane. And once you get a lane, the only score what counts is a strike. And nobody ever scores a strike. That is, nobody but me. Hmm, of course. We could also ask about Nefarious, but let's do that a bit later. I can tell by the house rules that you're a fair man, CD. The rain! <laughs> tell me, why is everybody fighting to get a lane? What's the big attraction? Well, a good rumble is reason enough for most of us. But, 
There is the added incentive of a prize. Mm-hmm. See, you score a strike, you win these three beautiful golden pins. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Take a good look, chumps. That's the last you'll be seeing of these. Unless you score a strike, that is. Hmm, <laughs> okay. G three golden pins. I don't know why why we, we would need them. Maybe maybe for the cutifier, that's possible, but other than that, I can't think of any use for them uh, as of right now, but anyway, please continue. So, see, what's your secret? Why are you the only one who's ever scored a strike? To be a world-class bowler, you need years of practice, huge cojones, and of course, my special technique. Step aside, losers. Watch <laughs> and learn. Uh-huh. Oh. <laughs> That's gonna hurt. <laughs> oh my god. Does it seem to hurt to him though? He seems to be enjoying it. Look, man, no hands. Oh. Oh, the pins are living too. That's brutal. My reaction what exactly. Kind of hairpin bowling. And yes, sport fans, all the animals were harmed during that performance. <laughs> Good to know. I guarantee you. You must make your mama very proud. Yes, and as for your bowling technique, well, it's uh, very unique. Yeah, it's a real gas. <laughs> well, well, ain't we cheeky? I guess the bottom line is that it works. That's right. But not just any old bum could pull it off. All right, all right. No bum rice cracks. Hmm, okay. Lovely. Uh, let's ask about Nefarious first. So, Sini, you and Nefarious ever get together and go bowling? Nah. His dark unholiness <laughs> rarely graces us with his royal presence. He just hangs out in his impenetrable island fortress, castle, place, thing, working on his dreams for global domination, torturing the innocent and laughing like a madman. Well, that's a tough schedule. Have you ever been inside his fortress, castle, place, thing? Are you kidding? Nobody wants to go inside that joint. Of course, if he's not careful, a guy could get himself dragged inside by the Count's tree goons. <laughs> Talk about freaks. More like morons. Well, about them. What do you know about the Count's henchmen? Those three half-finished morons who work for Nefarious? And a sort of the Malevolence PD. Creepy mothers, too. Rumor has it that old Nefarious <laughs> brought him back from the dead. Naturally, they think he's just the cat's meow. They kiss his butt up and down, do whatever he says. You know, toadies, they kind of make me sick. Hold on, he brought them back? From the dead? Sure, but don't get excited. It's not all it's cracked up to be, all right? These chumps weren't exactly in tip-top shape when they came to. One guy couldn't hear, hmm, one yeah, couldn't heard about talk, this. and one couldn't see. The robot maker across the way rigged up funny eyes and ears and whatnot. Like I said, real creepy. Yes, very. And about those poor bunny pins. You mind running through the rules for hairpin bowling again? Okay, suckers. You're free to use any technique that trips your trigger. But the ball's gotta make it in one piece all the way to the pins. And the only score what counts is a strike. 
should you do the impossible and score a strike, the grand prize of three golden pins is all yours. Hmm, okay. And that's it about your unique technique. Uh, Mr. CD, I was wondering if we might get another demonstration of your fascinating oh, got... bowling technique. <laughs> we gotta watch it again. What was that icky feeling it gave me? Sure. I thought you jerks would never ask. <laughs> I don't think that we actually have to do this. <laughs> Maybe we have to somehow sabotage. Uh, That's gonna hurt. <laughs> we, we may have to do something in order to sabotage uh, this technique of his. Kind of like we did with uh, Jim. Back at Jim's gym. But I highly doubt that we actually have to learn this technique. Plus truth and Flux's bugs are not as big. It won't work. Okay. I think we are done for now. Thank you for your time, Mr. CD, sir. I thought I told you. Manners only maketh trouble around here, punk. I think what Drew meant to say was... Screw you. Stop it, you bloated bag of gas! Hmm, yeah. Okay, so, can we go there? Yes, we can. In the Malevolence, everything deviates from the straight and narrow. Even the bowling lanes. Hmm, yeah. They're, they're not exactly... Uh, straight. So bear doesn't strike me as the sharing type. Oh yeah, and so the, so we have to get rid of this bear. Mm. Excuse we, oh, me. we can talk to him, Mr. Bear. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, Baloo doesn't want to talk to us. What happened to you, Baloo? You were so chill. Last time I saw you in the in the in Walt Disney's uh, The Jungle Book. How many years ago? Jesus, it's been many, many years. Feels like two decades. Okay, so... Hmm... Are, are we have to stab his butt? That would be kinda gruesome. Good night. We can't go and talk to him like these two. I don't think so anyway. Or maybe we have to steal the ball when, when while he's gone. But I, but then again, we also need to use a lane. It's all very funny until someone loses an eye. Oh god damn it, just... Oh, oh, uh... Oh shit, I didn't want to leave. Mind if I change into something a little more comfortable? Crap. Okay, can we now just go in? We can't get in there. That hairy thing is in the way. <laughs> that hairy thing. But just, just put this on. Activate clocking device. Yeah, yeah. Just go in there. Don't mind us, man. We're just, just passing, passing through. through. Then hustle, unless you want to see my fist passing through your face. What do we keep? What do we bother to talk to her? Okay, can can I now please use the spit on the bear's butt? Burn, baby, burn! Uh, no. <laughs> and he and he's swinging it so he was swinging it so much, almost as if begging us to stab him in the butt. Ah. Oh wait, I think I know what to do. We have to use glue on the ball. Let's see what happens. A bear trap. <laughs> bear trap. Yes. Is it a strike? Oh. 
Oh, good poor style, Baloo. Good form, good adhesion. Overall, I'd give him a nine. Hmm, okay. Can we now pick up a ball? One that is not glued. <laughs> CD was right. I'm never gonna get a strike. Well, how about the flux does it? What? Flux, you are so useless. Hmm. Did we lose? No, we still have the glue. Okay. Okay, so what could we use? Ah, uh, I don't know, glove? I don't think this will help me right now. Hmm. We haven't used the glove on anything, I don't think. Let's see. I don't know, fish? Nope, okay. Magnet? Hmm. Maybe we can do something to the lane. I don't know. Pull a pointy arrow there, and then oh and then my. and the ball will and the ball will simply follow the direction the arrow is pointing to. Yeah, that was that was dumb. Even for this game, that logic was too dumb. Hmm. In the Malevolence, everything deviates from the straight and narrow. Even the bowling lanes. <laughs> okay, so... So what's the problem? Why can't we do the strike? Simply because he just sucks? Or is the ball too heavy, or...? CD was right. I'm never gonna get a strike. I have to make someone else do it. Or maybe we have to get our own ball. Hmm. Let's see. Do we have anything we could use? I don't know, beans? No, I didn't, didn't think so. Glue it again? No. Hmm. Let's see. Can we ask him about Excuse anything me, else? Sir? Uh, what Drew's trying to say is... Aloha, dung ball! What do you two losers want now? Hmm. Can you run through the rules for bowling once more? <sighs> Score a strike and win the golden pins. Or don't and fail miserably. My money, by the way, is on you failing. Miserably. Hmm, yes, of course. I don't see any reason to... Hmm. I don't see any reason to, to see his great, unique technique again, unless we can somehow sab sabotage his ball. Say, uh, but that doesn't really help us win it now, does just it? beat it, mister? No. Oh, is that all you got, flower girl? And eat crap and die! By <laughs> By George, no, he's I think pissed. she's got it. <laughs> okay, he got pissed there. That was surprising. It was kind of <laughs> amusing, actually. I don't, I don't, I don't know. It was, it was just, it, it was just funny to see <laughs> Christopher Lloyd get that pissed. Uh, anyway, we have dough and candy and hmm, I don't know. <laughs> nope. Hmm. I'm supposed to make the ball lighter somehow. What's up? Oh, so, oh, so, or cheat and sabotage the lane the somehow. Ends, everything deviates from the straight and narrow. Even the bowling lanes. And we can't interact with these other two here. Is there anything else that we can interact with? Burn, baby, burn! <laughs> I don't think so, no. Flux? I know this may be kind of unpleasant for you, little buddy, but I want you to know that it hurts you more than it hurts me. Aw, <laughs> oh, that's sweet. Hey, wait a minute. Oh. Oh, no. Up there. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Damn. So that's how you did it. Just run. Why are cartoon char characters incapable to run sometimes? You did it! Woo. 
Thank goodness. Hmm. I was afraid you'd have to shoot me out of your butt. <laughs> that was your worry? I'll be damned. Yeah, and we didn't even use a special technique. No ifs, ands, or buts. Those yeah, we two chumps scored a strike. A strike. Nobody scores a strike but me. Ah, uh, CD. <laughs> a strike. Look, CD, I don't mean to rush the grieving process here, but could we have our trophy? We kind of got to get going. Ah, oh, take it, you losers. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a good heart. <laughs> Go ahead. Destroy my business. Destroy my reputation. Sure. I can handle it. Jeez, I hate to see a grown man cry. Mm. Yeah, especially one in a tutu. <laughs> Just go. I guess this means we can't be friends. No, I feel bad for him. Okay, okay. Well, I guess we are done here. So, bowling pins, tastefully mounted. Tastefully mounted. Okay. So we. So we got three golden pins, and I have no idea what to do with them. Presto! Changeo! I have no idea what to do with that. Okay, so... Hmm. Bowling pins, tastefully mounted. I don't know, maybe I can... That would just be a waste. Hmm, okay. No idea what to do with this. Let's see, can I... The malevolator. Hmm. Three golden pins, tastefully mounted. I don't know. I don't know if that means anything. Hmm. Well, we got two whistles and two needles here, but there's and two uh, bolts. I I al almost said it bolts. I almost said bolts again, but there is not. There is nothing in trees. Okay. What am I supposed to do with this, I wonder? King Hugh's music box with ink on it. Hmm. I wonder if, if we're supposed to return this. I wonder. Hmm. Maybe. Well, might as well give it a shot. Ready for some speedy, convenient, and only relatively disturbing whole travel? Yes, always. <laughs> Okay, and... We have arrived! Yes, I can see that. Now, back to King Hugh's castle. Nothing seems to have changed here. And there's... Hmm. I wonder, can we ever open I this cabinet? I can't just yank it open. Uh, how about if we use this? I can't just pry the cupboard open with this spit. But there must be something I can do with it. Oh yeah, I'm sure too. Otherwise, we would have picked it up. Hmm. Maybe we have to put the trophy... Up uh, all the three pins, the trophy in here as well, to the trophy room, maybe. Well, let's go to the, let's go to his bedroom first. Like I don't know, maybe I can return this. Uh, I guess. <sighs> Lullaby. Yeah, I guess not. So maybe we had supposed to place the trophy here, but what would be the, po what would be the point? Maybe we're, maybe we're supposed to take some other trophy from there and then replace it with the, these three golden pins. We have already done that with that, with this, uh, what, 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 what did you call this? Watering can. Watering can. Stuff. We have already replaced watering can with this. And there's nothing else that we can pick up from here or interact with. At least I don't think so anyway. And we can't go and meet King Hugh himself. I don't want to disturb King Hugh until I've completed my mission. Okay. We still have we have to open that cabinet somehow. Do I have anything that I can use to open it? I don't know, smash it. I don't think I can open a sturdy cupboard by hitting it with a mallet. Mm, okay. 
Nope. Is it on the hole? Ready, Flux? We've been hmm. waiting for this moment for a long time. Indeed, Let's we have. Let's find out what top secret royal goodies are locked away in this cupboard. Uh huh. So that's how you do it. Oh, it's a top secret royal cat stuffed kitty cat. Hurrah! Okay, he <laughs> stuffed cat. Oops! Look at that. That toy cat just fell off the shelf and landed in my pocket. Stealing from his royal smiliness is truly despicable, Drew. Come on, Do it again. you like it. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew it. Do it again. A beat up stuffed cat. So, will the squirrel like. Will the squirrel like the cat? I don't know, but. Well, there's only one way to find out. Okay. Do you like kitties? He might find that interesting. But I don't think he can see it from up there. Well, yeah, but... Hmm. He can't see it from up there. Hmm. Give it to Flux. Once he... Once he get, gets the hell out of me, of my behind. There, give it to Flux. I guess not. Um, hmm. Flux, could you try? Getting those nuts one more time. No! Hmm. Okay. Flux, could you try getting those nuts one more time? No! Okay, so we have to make it, we have to make it see the cat somehow. How can we get it up there? Oh. Hmm. He might find that interesting. But I don't think he can see it from up there. Hmm. Is there anything where we can place it? Put it on the door? In front of the door. Hmm. There we go. Hmm. I guess he's not into cats. Unfortunately, I don't think she's his type. What a shame. Hmm, I wonder, are we have to disguise this as a squirrel? I think I'll need to use something to combine these. Something to combine those? Oh, hmm. Glue? There must be a more convenient way to do that. Oh! Enigma, a book of insoluble yeah, yeah. paradoxical puzzles. Yeah, yeah. Cotton candy and glue. A yummy treat. Yummy treat. Oh, goddammit. How about now? That's cute. Okay, how about now? Now it looks like a squirrel. There, okay, let's see. Oh yes, it works. Wait, what? What the? You are so picky, you know that, Second Mr. Squirrel. There, you almost seemed interested. Okay, okay. What else? What else do we need for this? Hmm. What else could we possibly need to do to make this look more like a, a squirrel? A beat up stuffed cat with a nice fluffy tail. Hmm. Oh, cut to it. Uh, more glue. There must be a more convenient way to do that. What else do we want to do with it? Hmm. I'm just trying stuff here. There's no attraction. No attraction, okay. Okay. Perfect. A hopping, what? beat up stuffed cat. Oh, so now it jumps too. Okay. So maybe it now thinks that it's actually living and not a stuffed animal. I guess that's the point. What? You picky son of a ass. Almost seemed interested. Jesus Christ. He sure is picky. Um I don't know. Happy face? No. Golden Jane? That won't be necessary. 
Won't be necessary, okay. I think I'll need to use something to combine these. Ah, I see. Th this is supposed to be the teeth. Okay. Oh. There we go. How about now? I swear, if you... If you leave her... If you ditch her again... There we go. Finally. And... Oh, that was sweet. Bizarre. But sweet. You realize it'll end in divorce. <laughs> they yeah. just have nothing in common. Indeed, nothing. Kind of feel bad for him. Uh, now, could you get some nuts for me? Flux, could you go up there and grab those nuts? Sure. You never know when some extra nuts will come in handy. Mm-hmm. Indeed. Okay, we got some nuts. Okay. Nuts. Nuts. Simple. Okay, but so, so now, now we got some nuts. The malabulator. And someone suggested that, that, that we needed those nuts for for the bolts, because nuts and bolts. But I'm sure that we have that we're supposed to use this for something else too. Can we smash them? Nope. Did we lose the clue? Hmm, I guess we did, so we don't need that anymore. Good to know. Is there anything else that I can... Just try to combine these. I'm saving the world, not making dinner. Hmm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But we have... But we have done some very good progress. So you know what, I'm gonna end this episode here. And the next episode... Well, to be told, folks, I'm not sure what to do next, to be completely honest with you. I don't know where, where I'm supposed to turn this golden fish in, assuming that we have to turn it in somewhere or use it for something else. And I have no idea where to use these three golden pins. We have used the spin... at uh, the spit. Uh, we did... we only use it on the cabinet, right? I think we only use it for the cabinet, okay? And I don't know where we're supposed to use these nuts for, assuming that we have to use them for something else besides the cutifier. And yeah, I don't I don't know where to go from here to be honest. Is there anything else that we need to do? Anything Nothing really comes to my mind right now, so I don't really know what to do at this point. But hey, if you got any ideas, do do let me know in the comments. So, until next time. Thank you for watching once again and see you next time for more Toonstruck.